How to Treat and Cure Brainstem Glioma A brainstem glioma is a cancerous glioma tumor in the brainstem. Around 75% are diagnosed in children and young adults under the age of 20, but have been known to affect older adults as well. Brainstem gliomas start in the brain or spinal cord tissue and typically spread throughout the nervous system. Factors in Deciding Treatment The treatment for gliomas in children depends on whether the tumor is slow or fast growing, the grade, where in the brain the tumor is growing, whether it is possible to remove it, the age of the child. The main treatment for most childhood gliomas is surgery to remove as much of the tumor as possible. But it isn't possible to remove tumors in some areas of the brain. For example, with tumors in the brain stem or along the path of the eyesight nerves, optic nerve tumors. Surgery can cause too much damage to the surrounding normal brain tissue. These parts of the brain are delicate, important and highly specialized areas. If surgery is possible, low-grade tumors are generally easier to remove than high-grade because they tend to be less invasive. Low-grade tumors don't spread out into the surrounding brain tissue in the way that some high-grade tumors do. For some types of glioma, surgery may be the only treatment your child needs, particularly for slow-growing, low-grade, tumors. If your child can't have the complete tumor removed, your specialist may suggest radiotherapy or chemotherapy or possibly a combination of both. Your child's surgical and medical specialists will discuss all the treatment options with you in detail. Radiotherapy is not usually used for children under the age of 3 because it can cause severe long-term side effects. Your specialist might consider proton treatment. Instead of using x-rays, Proton beam therapy aims proton beams at the cancer. This type of treatment is not suitable for everyone and high-energy proton treatment is not available in the UK at the moment. So the specialist will consider each case individually, and if they feel it is suitable you may be sent abroad for treatment. You can read more about proton beam therapy. Brain cancer symptoms they reported. Brain cancer symptoms headaches. This was the most common symptom, with 46% of the patients reporting having headaches. They described the headaches in many different ways, with no one pattern being a sure sign of brain cancer. Many, perhaps most, people get headaches at some point in their life, so this is not a definite sign of brain cancers. You should mention it to your doctors if the headaches are different from those you ever had before are accompanied by nausea, vomiting, are made worse by bending over or straining when going to the bathroom. Brain cancer symptoms seizures, this was the second most common symptom reported, with 33% of the patients reporting a seizure before the diagnosis was made. Seizures can also be caused by other things, like epilepsy, high fevers, stroke, trauma, and other disorders. This is a symptom that should never be ignored whatever the cause. In a person who never had a seizure before, it usually indicates something serious and you must get a brain scan. Brain cancer symptoms A seizure is a sudden, involuntary change in behavior, muscle control, consciousness, and or sensation. Symptoms of a seizure can range from sudden, violent shaking and total loss of consciousness to muscle twitching or slight shaking of a limb population will experience a single seizure in their lifetime. Brain cancer symptoms nausea and vomiting. As with headaches, these are nonspecific symptoms, which means that most people who have nausea and vomiting do not have a brain cancer. 22% of the people in our survey reported that they had nausea and slash or vomiting as a symptom. Brain cancer symptoms nausea and or vomiting is more likely to point towards a brain cancer if it is accompanied by the other symptoms mentioned here. Brain cancer symptoms vision or hearing problems, 25% reported vision problems. This one is easy, if you notice any problem with your hearing or vision, it must be checked out. I commonly hear that the eye doctor is the first one to make the diagnosis, because when they look in your eyes, 
they can sometimes see signs of increased intracranial pressure. This must be investigated. Brain cancer symptoms problems with weakness of the arms, legs or face muscles, and strange sensations in your head or hands. 25% reported weakness of the arms and or legs. 16% reported strange feelings in the head, and 9% reported strange feelings in the hands. This may result in an altered gait, dropping objects, falling, or an asymmetric facial expression. These could also be symptoms of a stroke. Sudden onset of these symptoms is an emergency, you should go to the emergency room. If you notice a gradual change over time, you must report it to your doctor. Brain cancer symptoms Behavioral and cognitive problems Many reported behavioral and cognitive changes, such as Problems with recent memory, inability to concentrate or finding the right words, acting out, no patience or tolerance And loss of inhibitions, saying or doing things that are not appropriate for the situation Brain cancer symptoms If you think something is wrong, go see your doctor Explain that you are worried it is a brain cancer. Keep in mind that brain cancers are relatively rare compared to most other disorders, so the primary care doctor is not usually going to be thinking it is a brain cancer. They first think of more common causes of the symptoms. 64% of the time, the doctor thought it was not a brain cancer when respondents first went to the doctor. More than half of the people reported that they had the symptoms for more than a month before the correct diagnosis of brain cancer was made. With the malignant brain cancers, a delay of a month in starting treatment can make a major impact on the outcome. Cause The cause is still unknown. Researchers have not found any direct genetic link. Children irradiated for tiny acapitis have been found to have an increased risk for other central nervous system tumors, such as meningiomas, gliomas, and nerve sheath tumors, but not necessarily tumors of the brain stem. Signs and Symptoms Common symptoms include, but are not necessarily limited to, lack of facial control, droopy eyelids, double vision, Headache or headache that gets better after vomiting. Nausea and vomiting. Weakness and fatigue. Seizures. Balance problems. Symptoms can develop slowly and subtly and may go unnoticed for months. In other cases, the symptoms may arise abruptly. A sudden onset of symptoms tends to occur with more rapidly growing, high-grade tumors. Diagnosis. Neuroimaging such as MRI, is the main diagnostic tool for brain stem gliomas. In very rare cases, surgery and biopsy are performed. Treatment Unlike most brain tumors, brain stem glioma is not often treated with neurosurgery due to complications in vital parts of the brain. More often, it is treated with chemotherapy and or radiation therapy, though past use of radiation therapy has yielded mixed results. There are several new clinical trials in process. One such trial is dendritic cell immunotherapy which uses the patient's tumor cells and white blood cells to produce a chemotherapy that directly attacks the tumor. However, these treatments do produce side effects, most often including nausea, the breakdown of the immune system, and fatigue. Hair loss can occur from both chemotherapy and radiation but usually grows back after chemotherapy has ceased. Steroids such as decadrin may be required to treat swelling in the brain. Decadrin can lead to weight gain and infection. Patients may also experience seizures, which need to be treated to avoid complications. For some patients there is a chance of a neurological breakdown, this can include, but is not limited to, confusion and memory loss. The use of topotecan has been investigated, 